One of the most interesting figures in this epic tale is Lieutenant Kurt Chunin Lee. The son of Chinese immigrants, Lieutenant Lee was known as a blister of a man with a chip on his shoulder, yet also as a by-the-book marine and competent leader and fighter. Being the very first Asian American Marine officer in history, his respect for men like Davis and Lichtenberg was based on and grew as he watched them in battle. He was also very aware of American attitudes towards Chinese immigrants. Having once watched a white man humiliate his father by spraying him with a water hose when he asked for directions. His father drilled in his sons at a determination not to wash anyone's shirts. And Lee, a fatalist, was determined to prove himself and honor his family, his country, and his principles by dying in battle. As part of Davis's force sent to relieve Fox Company, he fully expected to die at Tok Tong Pass. Yet he carried out his duties proficiently as he led the Ridge Runners, a nickname given the Davis's battalion over the frozen mountains of Korea through the night to save the day. Despite an extra danger to himself, looking like the enemy, knowing some pidgin Chinese, he was able to fool Chinese sentries into letting him get close enough to toss a grenade. He wore a pink, solely dropped air panel so his men can find him when they are in a tight spot. Also, so they would not shoot him for thinking he was one of the communists. It is recorded when some spooked marines said an armed gook had entered the withdrawal call. Someone just replied, that's Lieutenant Lee, try not to suit him. What is even more remarkable is that Lee wasn't even supposed to be at the front lines. He had been wounded when a sniper's bullet hit him in the elbow a month earlier. He was going to be flown to Japan. However, like George S. Patton, he demanded that a soldier suffering from cell shock show him a physical wound. When the cell shock soldier refused, Lee slapped him. Facing charges for assault, Lee went AWOL with another soldier, stole a jeep, and returned to the front lines. Lee's character could be explored through his relationship with Lieutenant Joe Owen. At first, Lee did not respect Owen because he believed he was too soft on the men, often looking out for their comfort. So then you may call me Lieutenant Lee or Mr. Lee, but uh, never mind this crap about calling me by my last name. You show respect to my rank. Jeez, that was that took me aback. I had uh, never run into anybody like that. However, when Owen put himself in the center of action to stop Marines from retreating, Lee began to respect him more. He was the only man that the headstrong Lee would turn to, to admit he needed help. For his actions in relieving Fox Company, he would receive a silver star. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity while serving as a platoon leader with Company B, 1st Battalion, 7th Marines, 1st Marine Division reinforced in action against enemy aggressor forces in Korea from 27 November to 8 December 1950. Although sick and in a weakened condition from a previous combat wound, 1st Lieutenant Lee refused hospitalization and unflinchingly led his unit across treacherous frozen waste of Rocky Mountain ridges toward a beleaguered Marine company. Through his indomitable spirit, he contributed materially to the success of the epic night march of his battalion, which resulted in the relief of the isolated Marine unit and the securing of vital ground. On December 2nd, 1950, when the leading elements of his company were pinned down under intense enemy fire from a rocky hill mass, 
He skillfully maneuvered his platoon forward in an attack in the face of the heavy fire, personally accounting for two enemy dead and providing such aggressive and inspirational leadership that fire superiority was regained and the enemy was routed. On 8th December 1950, 1st Lieutenant Lee's platoon was pinned down by intense hostile fire while attacking south on the main service road from Kodori, observing that the heavy fire was inflicting numerous casualties. He exposed himself to the deadly fire to move among his troops, shouting words of encouragement and directing withdrawal to covered positions. Assured that the last of his wounded were under cover, he was seeking shelter for himself when he was struck down and severely wounded by bursts of enemy machine gun fire. By his daring initiative and great personal valor throughout, First Lieutenant Lee served to inspire all who observed him and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Services. And all this, the success of this uh, very vital, uh, his historic uh, night night operation was based on what I learned at uh, Junior ROTC. That's what uh, made a success of this uh, historic venture. His comrades believed he deserved the Medal of Honor. Say we were inspired. I hate like hell to say a word so high flown, but we were inspired by, uh, by Lee. He became the character of Baker Company 7th Marines.